I bet not many people got this question right. It's a tricky one, but you can make it a lot easier if you use one of these standard results uh, about hexagons that are so useful in the maths challenges. What we're trying to do here is essentially work out the distance from P to Q one way around this hexagon and the distance from P to Q the other way around the hexagon. If you read the question, they talk about people walking around uh, the uh, lengths of the hexagon here, but it essentially comes down to that. So if I draw a few lines inside the hexagon here, we can see that we can always split a hexagon, a regular hexagon that is, into six equilateral triangles. So if I look at these two halves of those triangles on the right, uh, they would combine to give uh, one of those equilateral triangles. And so I've got this red shaded area here of one sixth of the overall hexagon. But we're told that the shaded pentagon, the whole shaded area that is, is one quarter of the whole shape. So this strip uh, down the middle here is going to be exactly uh, one quarter minus one sixth of the whole of the hexagon. One quarter minus one sixth is three twelfths minus two twelfths, which is one twelfth. So the strip is one twelfth uh, of the hexagon. So if we consider the rectangle UTRW here, the centre part of the hexagon, that would be made up of four of those equilateral triangles in total, or two, or two of them and four halves if you like. So overall that's two thirds of the hexagon and that's eight twelfths of the hexagon. So the rectangular strip PTRQ is uh, one twelfth of the overall hexagon and this larger rectangle UTRW is eight twelfths of it. So it must be that PT is one eighth of the distance uh, UT or QR is one eighth of the distance uh, WR. Now this rectangle is one eighth of the larger rectangle that it's inside. So we can count the distance from P to Q, which in the context of the question is how far J walks, as two and two eighths sides, two full sides and two of those one eighth sides. That's two and a quarter or nine over four sides in total. The distance from P to Q the other way, the distance K walks, would be two full sides and then two lots of seven eighths, so 14 eighths sides. That gives us in total three and three quarter sides or 15 over four sides. So that means that the ratio of the distances walked is 9 over 4 to 15 over 4, or 9 to 15, which we can simplify down to 3 to 5 and get that the answer here is C.